Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be drawing Uzaru from Dragon Ball. So I'm drawing it from the golden version, but you could color it brown or you can color it, like, they look pretty much the same. He kind of has maybe kind of Super Saiyan spiky kind of hair, maybe a bit, but I'm not sure if there is actually a difference in the form. Maybe it's just the hair, but, uh, or the color, you know? So this is generally how to draw Uzaru. So I'm on a landscape orientation page use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. All that usual good stuff. You know, when I move my hand, pencil and eraser, hit the pause button, slow it down. So center point of my page is approximately here, right? And his eyes are a little bit lower just cause he got this kind of super saiyan hair, right? So center point here, come down a little bit and we start with his eyes. So we'll go tick up to the right first, like that. And then we'll tick off to the right on the other side so, and then we'll bring it around for this sort of frowny sort of head that they have curled around, like so. And then frown lines and one up the middle. So then his eyes are kind of that standard Dragon Ball shape, right? You got a small line here and a long line there. And then you bring them together, these box-like Dragon Ball style eyes. And then we do the same thing pretty much on the other side. Small line, large line, bring them together. Like so. He doesn't have any pupils, it's just like red glowing eyes. Not that I can see in this picture anyway. Sometimes maybe they do. I'm sure animators do it differently every now and then. But uh, then he's got bottom eyelid, like so. Then we got a line straight down the middle, just there, with his nostrils on the sides. Okay, two curved lines here, and then his nostril, sort of like commas, just here, right? Like so. And then, one, two, three, four, five, little wrinkles. Coming up in his nose like that. So now his snout, right? So he's got like a long sort of face, right? So it's like this U sort of shape that goes the whole way around. smile lines on the top and his mouth is kind of open so curves around the bottom here back up and in there we got teeth so big sharp fangs on the edge and then they come across the center like that and then a sharp fang here sharp fang here and then we join them together so now shape for his face so he's got like yellow fur and big sort of jaws but then like a pink version of his face right so coming up here starting from his, just underneath his eyes his cheeks curves around here right and you do the same thing on the other side curves around and then we bring it down around towards his chin And we join those together. Like so. So pretty symmetrical. And then this curves up and around his face here as well. So we got like just this sort of hairline comes around to a V in the center. Like so. And then back around here. So he's got these big furry cheeks, right? So they kind of go, they're kind of this sort of hairy. So like you can give as much fur detail as you'd like. It doesn't have to be too much, but it's kind of up to you how much you want to do. Now that rhymed. <laughs> and 
and uh, this comes up like so. Like, and his ears are in here. And of course, like, there is like plenty more texture, sort of, on kind of on his fur areas. Give him this kind of just hatching dashes. So, All right, and then the ear will go up from here and then bring it back down, sticking right up like that. Same on the other side. Like so, and then there's some bones and ligament lines inside, like ear lines and stuff. And this comes around. Like so, and then we got like Super Saiyan hair, kind of going up the middle. So it's just like hair spikes, stuff coming up. One there, down, up, down. And they go to like this central point here, and then back down like so. And then another one here. Down to there. Another one kind of sticking off this way. Then behind his ear, maybe one more just here. And a couple inside. Like so. One there, one there. Some like texture lines then. Kind of like, you know, standard Dragon Ball texture lines. You follow the shape of each hair spike and you just add these sort of lines to it. Like so. Okay, so body position. He's not the same on both sides. He's got like a big shoulder here and his arm is kind of sticking out on this side. He's got two big shoulders, but one's like turned away from this, one's turned towards us. So um we'll do we'll do like his back, right? So he's he's Big, huge gorilla back. So furry. Furry line coming down here, okay? Like so. And his shoulder is like here. So it's like a ball. So it's like... It's a furry ball. there and then the other side of it comes around here again sort of furry like that okay so kind of like a ball like a big ball and like fur lines and hatching lines and stuff and like a line down the middle for like his muscles and texture lines for fur and hair and Lots of this kind of stuff. So you can do as much of this as you want. But that's generally what you're aiming for, right? And we could see maybe his tail sticking out somewhere. Like coming out here. Going off that way. And then in like here. Right, so furry sort of tail, texture lines. going up and off my page that way. A few more room, of course, you can finish that up the top there. But that's generally sort of the shape. It sort of snakes up off that way. And then his tricep, just down here. More sort of fur lines on it. His bicep then, on this side. Like 
like so. And like fur there, texture there. And so his back then comes out this way. So we will, again, sort of a bumping sort of line down to like here somewhere. And then his shoulder will stick out and come real wide. So it'll come out like to there. Right, so this is his shoulder on this side. Pretty much the same, right? Except this shoulder touches his body and his chest. It's like it's it's just a different shoulder position, right? So let's just go up with this first. This, right? And then we'll bring it in. And then it meets his chest. So if you want, you can copy both sides and have both his arms coming forward. Or you can try a more dynamic position like this. So, like this kind of thing. And so this is his chest muscle. So this is gonna come down the front of his body and then come over the other side. That's like his chest muscle here. And again, you can have fur lines and texture lines and stuff on that. Like that, and there might be another shoulder muscle line here. Like so, and then like the side of his body is here. Right? So he's got a big gorilla body, so comes out real wide. Like so. And like fur lines just there. And he's got, so his, his collarbone kind of grows up this way, right? So his sort of neck muscle, I guess, or collarbone. So it goes around to his back, just this way. Curves around using these kind of furry lines going back this way. Okay. And then we can see his arms sticking out this way. down here too so he's got a real big arm so like that way so that's his arm and it's got fur goes off the bottom of my page there so think in general that is everything how to draw the great ape Uzaru from Dragon Ball hope it's helpful guys thanks for watching see you in the next one